The Good News Daily is a great evangelizing tool. It is written by His Excellency, Ambassador Prophet Hubert Angel, and Madam Prophetess B.B. Hi guys, it's Pastor A here. Definitely coming to you, reading to you another lesson from The Good News Daily. I haven't found the page for today. Here we are, and it says, I am guarded. And I'm so excited to read to you the word that our prophets, Prophet Hubert Angel and Prophetess B.B. Angel have given us the prophetic word today. And as you don't know, this is who they are. They're right here behind me. These, they're in the book, The Good News Daily. And this is what they look like. You've probably seen them socializing on um found them socializing on Facebook, Instagram, Adam Graham, YouTube here as well. So all is well. So, so, so excited. And guess what? This quarter is coming to an end. It is only October, November, December. So a new one is in print and going to be ready and available to us very, very, very soon. So um, I'm so excited about that. But you've come to hear the reading of the Good News Daily, so let us get over there and do that. And today our title text is, I Am Guarded. And I would like to honor my prophet simply for this ability, this word that is changing my life every single day. So it says, I Am Guarded, Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 23. And if you call yesterday, I talked about spiritual parents in Ephesians 6 and 1 and explained a, a world without, uh, I, less like my natural need parents, my spirit need parents. And I'm so excited. So um, Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 23 is where our text is coming from. And it says, keep thy heart with all diligence for out of it are the issues of life. As a Christian, you are to constantly read and meditate on God's word so it can abide in your heart. When your heart is filled with God's word, you are protecting yourself from everything opposite of what the word tells you. Guarding your heart is keeping you away from false doctrine, deceit, and unbelief. Your actions come directly from the things you think and believe. If your heart is overflowing, With the right things, you will surely have the God kind motive and you will move in that direction. Likewise, if your heart is overflowing with the wrong things, you will have bad motives and head down the wrong path. So it says, keep thy heart with all diligence for out uh, diligence for out of it are the issues of life. Your issues, good or bad, which way they're going, right? Your actions come directly. Your actions come directly directly from the things you think and believe. If your heart is overflowing with the right things, you will surely have the God kind motives and you will move in that direction. So how is your life ending up? Think about it. How is your life ending up? What are things happening? What is leading you? Do you feel like a certain way? Like I feel drawn to this, do this. Then what is your heart? It lets you know the place of your heart. It says what you listen to and watch has a tremendous impact on your actions. Therefore, it is extremely important to load your heart with God's word. What you speak over your life determines what is in your heart. The tongue has the power of life and death, and those who love it will eat its fruit. Proverbs 18 and 21. Things that come out of your mouth, boy. I say you reap what you sow and call it karma. But I'm telling you, it's right here in the word. It says, what you speak over your life determines what is in your heart. The tongue has the power of life. Remember, what's in your heart comes across your mouth, your lips. So the tongue has the power of life and death. <coughs> Excuse me. The tongue has the power of life and death, and those who love it will eat its fruit. Wow. Your heart holds the concerns of your life when you don't load up on God's word. And this is why it is very hard to live a joyous life. Wow. Your heart holds the concerns of life. My God, when you're not joyous, what is in your heart? Jesus said, I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. So that lets us know right now that in Jesus Christ, we can't be poor. Like, if you think about even hoarders, 
reporters aren't poor. Ah, they had a lot of money to get that stuff, right? They had a lot of money to get that stuff, to live that way. So it says to live abundantly. We have abundance, abundance in money. It's riches, abundance in food, abundance in health. You're whole, you're prosperous, you're full. And that's in John 10, 10. When you find yourself in a bad situation, you can guard your heart by meditating on what God says about you. Man, meditate. When you got the word in you, you can take it with you wherever you go and nobody can ever take that from you. Says the prophet says, I guard my heart with his word. Nothing shall remove me from my course. Nothing. And that's how I feel about having spiritual parents. Nothing's going to move me from them. Nothing is going to move me from the things that they say, the obedience that I have, that I do, what they say, prosperity, creating businesses without money. You don't need money to start a business. The money, I'm telling you, you don't need capital to start a business. You don't. You eat an elephant one bite at a time. I'm learning so much from them. Spiritual, the things that can be bothering me, the things in the atmosphere. Can you imagine? When you find yourself in a bad situation, you can guard your heart by meditating on what God says about you. What does God say about you when you're in that bad situation? Think about God and be joyous. (laughs) Think on him and be joyous, my God. So as I guard my heart with his word, the more you read, the more your heart is engulfed in the word. Nothing shall remove me from my course. Nothing shall move you from what God has said about you, about the word that you have in you. My eyes, heart, and mouth are fixed on Jesus. Praise the Lord. I am full of his word. Oh my goodness. You're not hungry when you're full, right? 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 You're not thirsty looking for a word from somebody. You're not thirsty. You're not hungry looking for a prophetic word. When you're full on the word yourself. And that brings us to Mark chapter 7 and verse 20 through 23. And he said, that which cometh out of the man, that defiled the man. For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, and murders. Thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, and an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness. All these evil things come from within and defile the man. Can you imagine? Or any of these, if any of this was any of you, me, again, guess what? Today, because now we are know we have knowledge and our ignorance is being confronted. This is from my heart and it's defiling me. It comes out of me. No longer, I will no longer um, proceed with evil thoughts or adulteries against God, fornications or murders, thefts, covetousness, not, nothing me, wickedness, deceit, I will steal no more, I'll be jealous of what no one else has, no, not wicked, evil, deceit, lying to people, lasciviousness, all filthy, no, an evil eye, no, I will see things pure like God does as we learned a couple of stories ago, it was blasphemy, no, I will not defame people. I will not be pride and think of myself self-righteous or foolishness, just being folly all day, ridiculous. No, 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 no. I am a new man because my heart is guarded with the word. And this new word that I've just learned today removes, revokes all of these things. So that brings us to the end. And I am so, 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 so excited. So thanks for tuning in. And until next time. Love you guys. Rain, sleet, or snow. I'm going to bring you to work. Rain, sleet, or snow. Love you guys. Bye. The Good News Daily is translated into many different languages. I'm sure there's one on there you can find.